This is John and Fergus, great magicians and busy mates. What's that? Ah, oh, John's got Fergus a new pack of cards. And a dice. And a pen. A lolly Fergus likes those! A crayon? How did that stuff get in there? Oh, there's more. A ball, always handy. What else is in there? You keeping notes of all this? That was always on the cards. Wow, indeed. But wait till you see the school trip. Here are year four and five getting on the coach. They've been set up by their teachers and their parents. They think they're going on a regular school trip, but it's going to be magic. They're going to the Lee Valley Athletic Centre to see the high-tech sporting facilities where gold medal winning Olympians Christina Horigu and Greg Rutherford trade. Little do they know they're about to see some champion magicians achieve their personal best. That is after they've been disguised so the kids don't recognise them. While John and Fergus get wigs affixed and makeup applied, the class are on their way, blissfully unaware of what lies in store or indeed on the track. Adios! John and Fergus are good sports for dressing as Team GB coaches, and John is going to play Fergus's dad, because he's no athlete. I really would be proud to have Fergus as a son. Obviously, I'm not old enough for that to happen, but if I was, he'd be my third choice. Here come the kids now. Hope the magicians are all warmed up and ready to go. I think John's saving himself for the big event. They better make their way to the starting blocks. The school trip seems perfectly normal so far. They're excited to see the world-class track, but soon they'll be wowed by a world-class trick. Or three. John and Fergus, or should I say Dad and Junior, are on their marks. Here comes the class and they're ready. Get set and go magic. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Yes, and welcome here. This is the Lee Valley Athletic Centre, responsible for training highly efficient athletes like myself and others that you might have seen on the television competing in games. Now, my name is Mr Wigon. You can call me Ivor. That's, that's my first name, Ivor. I like my friends call me Ivor. Hang on a minute, did he just say his name was Ivor Wigon? This is my son here, this is Radley. Radley Wigon? He's just training up, aren't you Radley? That's right, yeah. Speak up nice and loud, son. That's right, yeah. Wonderful. Fergus has a squeaky voice and he's in disguise. It's squeaky bum time. Get down and give yeah. me five, son. Get down and give me five. Discipline. The girl with the pink flower doesn't know what to make of John. She should join the club. See how he did that? Didn't even flinch, didn't even flinch. Well done, son. That's lovely. Now. One of the things that we do when we arrive here is obviously dish out the equipment. I've got this small equipment here. We keep these in the uh, in the sports equipment buckets. As uh, not used by Team GB. But watch that bucket carefully. It's magic. We keep things like the tennis balls for the tennis players. Tennis we keep balls. the shuttle cups for the shuttle cockers. And then uh, the other thing, of course, is uh, my favourite sport. It was my Olympic sport. I competed for 35 years in the pole vault. In fact. I still hold the world record, I might say, for the over 20 stone category in the pole vault. Bet John bent that pole vault like he's bending the truth. Now, um, I, I carry my pole vault in here as well. I just, I just keep it there. Hang on a second, how did I get in there? So it's all ready for me. Beautiful piece of equipment. If you put all their open mouths together, you'd make the Olympic rings. That is Irish maple. You don't see a lot of Irish maple. Now, they are loving this athletics lesson, but John won't let them pause for a breather just yet. Uh, we also have to do what we call research and development. Research and development. Now, one of my favourite sports, and Radley's here, is the four by 100 metres. And I've got a new little thing that we've developed for the four by 100 metres. I'm going to show you now, just get it. Here comes the next leg of our magical school trip. Now, uh, the four by 100 metres is all about the baton passing. This is a baton. Now, this is one that we've developed. This is the new aerodynamic baton. You can see that it's slightly thinner at one end than the other. Oh, so it travels through the air a lot quicker. In okay. fact, we have shaved a third of a second off a lap just using this new baton. The baton's more like a magic wand. Keep your eyes on it. A gold medal winning trick is hurtling towards this class. Now, we're going to demonstrate our baton changing. But it's very fast, right? So fast, right? You might not even see it. It's like a blink of an eye. So we're going to do it in slow motion. Motion. All right, even then you might not see it. So we'll imagine now that I've just ran 
uh, the 300 metre leg of the 4 by 100 metres. Uh, and I'm coming now down to the last straight. We've got Radley there, he's in position. Yeah. And just imagine in slow motion we're running like this. So here you go. Whoa, it's like Super Saturday at the London Games all over again. John's doing this in slow mo because otherwise you'll never see it happen. Whoa, the baton flew through the air from John to Fergus. Let's get a rewind. The speed of light, but in slow mo, I didn't even see it go. The class are speechless. John and Fergus are milking their golden moment, but no wonder. Wonderfully done, I think you'll agree. Well done, son. Beautiful passing of the baton there. Out.